it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, so this question is from Aga So, okay, Aga, she wants to know if there's any other type of work that you should be doing right now um, other than meditations and sound journeys and retreats um, I feel there is something missing somehow um, maybe there is a job I could take that would help me get more inspiration and money as well right okay so one of the things that I see I get is I see you working with people who are trying to pass exams or something like this this is a possibility so some kind of tutoring let's just Oh, let's start this again. Just bear with me a second. Right, okay. So, I don't know whether you've ever considered tutoring one-to-one -one or whether that's just going to be something that just, oh, you just don't feel like it. But when you say there's something missing, there's a couple of things that I feel. I feel like you need to get um, more of a sense of you know, I'm providing a service, it's a reliable service, it's straightforward, it, I can do it right now and it will help me to earn more and it will also give me a sense of giving, <coughs> excuse me, because I had number 43 from the little book of daily guidance which is all, all about giving and how it makes you feel better to be giving something. So I feel that with some of the work that you're doing at the moment, you're still honing your skills as a facilitator, as a teacher. You're still honing um, your, your skills doing the sound work as well. And I feel that that is kind of your focus. That's, your focus has been much more on honing the skills than on going out there and making it work as a going concern, if you see what I mean. So I feel, yes, at this point, it would be a really good idea for you to have some else and yet I feel it needs to be something that stimulates you intellectually and um, there were a couple of possibilities that I saw for different reasons okay um, the other possibility I, that I saw which is a strange one but I'm gonna say it because I saw it I saw you handling clothes I saw you like you were working in retail in a clothes shop and it just sounds ridiculous because you have so much going on you, you've got this incredible mind this incredible you know PhD person that you are I just felt that there was also a part of you that was longing to do something that was a little bit frivolous and that would also get you out and expand your world a little bit in terms of seeing different kinds of people even if it's regular kinds of work that sort of very seems very 3d and and um commonplace if you like these are the other po these are the possibilities okay so tutoring working in a shop or doing something fun your world needs to be expanded you know you never know who you're going to meet even in a regular job if you're not out and about meeting and connecting with people it the things tend to become or feel a little bit stagnant sometimes and if you do have the finances a little bit more in control i also feel that will free up your energy and you'll be able to manifest much more easily because you know when we talk about being in the right, right vibration being in alignment giving off the right signals the right energy and allowing it to flow all of those things if you're worried about you know whether it's going to be okay in that respect like financially then that can often put you out of alignment so if you get that taken care of to some extent then that will free your your not just your mind from the worry but it will free your energy up so that you can allow again you can start allowing that will that can help you it seems counterintuitive in a way but it can help you because it will free you up you know it will free some of that vibration up that's tied up in worry which is not a helpful vibration for manifesting as we know gosh this is a this is a really good one thank you guys i'm listening to this myself as well so okay 
really great i hope that helps you so yeah take the pressure off take the worry off and go for it and, and do whatever feels right for you okay but it does feel like something that that helps you your brain to be stimulated and that expands your world a little bit something that can be fun maybe you do, do two of those both of those things you know like do one part time and then do a little bit of tutoring because it will take time to build the tutoring okay that's that obviously again free will choice choose it take it leave it whatever but that's what i'm feeling and that's what's being suggested as possibilities okay um yeah let's go past present and future for some reason i get this persistent image of you working in a bar and i feel like that can't be right can it because she's not going to want to be in a bar she's she's you know but i'm not going to judge it i'm just going to say that i'm hearing like glasses clinking and tinkling sounds and you know people having fun and chatting and, and all this sort of thing I'm hearing as well and that could just be a metaphor for you know you need to be socializing more you need to be out more and not just um, in those settings that we love so much but you know yes it could be um you know a bar that's a part of a spiritual occasion yes absolutely we don't necessarily like being around places you know as spiritual people where there's a lot of alcohol being served and you know we don't know what the energy is going to be like there and stuff you know as psychics intuitives or let me speak for myself personally i don't like those places i don't drink i don't you know i'm not into that but um you know, I don't know, there's something of the liveliness and vivaciousness that's kind of being suggested or offered to you as well. So you can find that in any context that feels comfortable to you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. You know, let me know what your feelings are about it. Let's look at past, present and future regarding that. Creative writing, courage and you are safe. Oh, did I shuffle these? Okay. Right, so, because um, we just had these, sorry, <laughs> we just had both of those cards in the last reading, but that's okay. Right, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. See, I know that you've done a lot of research work and I know that you sort of, you know, that was it. You were quite happy to just leave that where it was. I would like to say that you are not exploring the part of the writing process that you did enjoy in the past because of these feelings, because there isn't enough time, because you're having to focus on making this life work in a sense. And I feel that that's come up here because they would like you to come back to that at some point. But also, you know, sorting out the finances will help you to free up that creative part of your, your mind and your being as well. Okay, to do some writing again, even if it is just the journaling, where you sit and you write and you get your feelings out and you come up with ideas and you let it flow, all of that needs to come back and, and you know, your question about doing another kind of work, it will help you with that. It's not a betrayal of any of your manifestations to go and do that now because it will, it will be more enabling in a sense for where you are right now. Okay, that's my feeling about it. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs, right? I feel that that is saying, just be be courageous about being who you are, you know? What you feel is the right thing to do for you is the right thing for you to do right now. And, you know, wherever you find yourself, yeah, be okay with who you are. Just be okay and be happy with who you are and just see how much you've grown, how much you've evolved, maybe by experimenting with doing those kinds of work and just seeing how you would be in that sort of environment now. See what you feel, just, just play with the idea of it, okay? There's no battle for you to fight, but it's a question of seeing how much you've grown in strength and going back out into the world and saying, right, okay, I'm going to take this inner strength that I've developed and I'm going to explore it in a new context, context that will allow me to strengthen other areas of my life now and allow me to go forward in the way that I choose to go forward in future. Okay, so don't see it as a forever thing. Just see it as a, you know, a stopgap, a way to float your cork again. <laughs> okay. All right, and moving into the future. Okay, so it says, Archangel Michael says, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. So 
what I've kind of been hinting at, what I kind of feel that they've been trying to get me to say is that you might not feel that it's going to be easy for you to enter that kind of traditional workplace context again because of who you've become, the sensitivities and the choices that you've made and who you really feel you are and, and are ready to be. But you are protected. You will be protected wherever you go. You will learn from it. You know, it's about dipping your toe in and, and experiencing it again. Remember, wherever you go, you are valuable. You are valuable as a light worker. And then once you've dipped your toe in and you've created balance again, you can you can retreat back and you can retreat. <laughs> you can, you know, things will start to develop by themselves when you take your focus off them a little bit as well. And I don't mean that you should stop thinking about them because obviously when we're manifesting something it needs to be in our thoughts, it needs to be in our, in our vibration. But if the energy that we're sending is, come on, come on, come on, happen, happen, do, you know, that's a blocking vibration. So you're safe to explore something else, you will be protected and taken care of. And while you're out doing this other thing but without the worry, I feel like I'm saying the same thing 10 different times, but you know me, <laughs> that's what I do, okay? So I hope that's really clear for you. And um, I'm gonna pick a color card for you now and uh, just see what else. What else can we give Aga just to, just to reassure her on this new journey that she's considering? And again, you have complete free will so you can ignore everything, but just take it as it's been given in the spirit of love and um, a suggestion okay enjoy clear hearing so you've been getting some prompting about this for a while and you haven't really been ready to hear it and you know I can understand why but see it as a, part, a natural progression and a part of your spiritual journey rather than something that takes you off the path that's what I'm hearing okay right okay so yeah that's that i hope that helps you please share your comments and let me know and um i will speak to you soon take care Bye. if it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me that much and i get from your touch a little closer to heaven